There's always things like that going on, uh, that flying saucer. Three months after the passing of President Roosevelt, Harry Truman worked out a secret deal with the Germans known as Operation Paperclip. This controversial secret deal allowed for Nazi scientists, engineers, and other big names to be absorbed into the United States. Differing political systems and mutual distrust contributed to the Cold War. Both the United States and the Soviet Union emerged in the space race to develop a stockpile of nuclear weapons creating a constant state of fear and mutual deterrence. The development and proliferation of nuclear weapons significantly contributed to the Cold War tensions. The Washington DC UFO sightings of 1952 continue to be a subject of interest for UFO enthusiasts and researchers. I am here to discuss the so-called flying saucers. There have been a certain percentage of this volume of reports that have been made by credible observers of relatively incredible things. With all due respect to the Air Force, I believe that some of them will prove to be of interplanetary origin. President Eisenhower supposedly had a secret meeting with extraterrestrial beings at the Edwards Air Force Base in California. Some of the reports contain testimonies that there were alien bodies that were recovered and some of them were alive. You have to understand why this is linked to President Kennedy. 